welcome to the Football Philosophy channel. Um, just a couple of little things to talk about that are uh, in the papers about United this morning. Uh, in particular, uh, rumours of Cristiano Ronaldo. It's been spoken about for a few days now, but the Mirror, the Mirror are saying that United have made a formal offer to Ronaldo's agent. Um, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, they're saying that Juventus would want him off, off their books. He's on £28 million a season, it says in the mirror. Uh, they're trying to remove that from the wage bill. It's, it's over half a million pound a week. That whether I'm not sure United would want to pay anybody that, that amount of money. Um, whether, he, whether, whether they could get him on a, on a smaller deal than that, I'm not sure. And also, he's, he's, he's thir I've, I've looked it up. He's 36 in February. Uh, Ronaldo is 35 now. This so you know pretty soon now in February he's 36. Um, if they were to sign him, would they sign him on a one-year deal? I don't see that. If they signed him on a two-year deal, he'd, he'd become 38, sort of, you know, just over three quarters of the way through that deal, he'd be 38. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I can't. I, look, nothing had surprised me in football. You know, the, the, you know, the stranger things have happened, but I just think it's paper talk. I think it's about getting clicks and selling newspapers, and I really, I really, really don't see it. But that, that's according to the mirror today. United have made a formal approach um, to Ronaldo's agent. But I can't see that happening. Uh, the West Brom game, um, a week today, is, has now been moved to uh, to the Saturday evening. This was in the news yesterday. Um, it's, it's on BT Sport next Saturday night at 8 o'clock. So United and West Brom at Old Trafford next week is an 8pm 8, 8 kickoff live on BT Sport. Edison Cavani... Uh, Played for Uruguay, away to Colombia in, in a World Cup qualifier. They're playing the World Cup qualifiers at the moment. Uh, this is to qualify for for Qatar 22. Um, seems to have come around quite quickly, that. So, uh, can only help his confidence. I mean, he doesn't seem to be short of conf confidence, Cavani. But, um, you know, they, they, it's a good win for them away to Colombia. It's, it's a tough game away to Colombia. And Uruguay won 3-0 and Cavani got on the score sheet. So, as I say, if he needs his confidence boost in Cavani, which I doubt, it's, you know, there's a confidence boost for him. Uh, in that game, yeah, Everton's Jerry Mina got his marching orders. I think it was for the second yellow, but he, he, uh, Jerry Mina got sent off in that game late on in the game. Um, Megan Rapinoe. Uh, is in the news again, or she's been in the news this week. She's the uh, captain of the USA national women's team. She's probably probably the most famous player in, in the women's game. Uh, I think they're the World Cup holders. I'm pretty sure they are the USA, and she's the, she's the captain of the, the World Cup holders. Uh, and she's been critical of United for only having had a women's team for uh, for for two years uh, why on earth she would be wanting to talk about Manchester United I really don't know she seems to be in the news quite a lot Megan Rapinoe talking about one thing and another um, I don't know whether she should stick to playing football I'm sure in the women's game she's one of the best players in the world um, I would if I was her I would I would I would concentrate on my football anyway United have got a women's team now they've had a women's team for, for two seasons apparently and the live on BT Sports today in the Manchester Derby. Um, this should be out in, uh, before that time, this, this little video, but it may be that that game's already started by the time this gets uploaded onto YouTube. But at 12.30 today, if, if this is in time, it's Man United Ladies versus Manchester City Ladies. It's a 12.30 kickoff and it's live on BT Sport. Hopefully, uh, I'm sure I'm sure Megan rapping over in the States at the moment, depending on what time zone in the state she's in. It's uh, it's at least, what, 7.30 in the morning, kick off there. Hopefully she gets up and watches that game there. There's a big Manchester derby for her to watch. I'm sure she'll enjoy that. So there you go, Megan. Have a look at that game. OK, Nations League. Nations League this weekend. Uh, England are playing Belgium. Uh, I'll just cover one or two of the other groups. Uh, the In the, the Nations League, I've, I've said a couple of times this week, I know a lot of the fans haven't taken to it, but it is a serious competition. All the nations take it are taking it really seriously. Portugal are the holders. Um, uh, the way the way it works, there's there's uh, f I think there's four leagues, and and each league is split into groups. So there's four groups in each league, and 
and each group has four teams in it. So there's 16 teams in League One, and those 16 teams are split into four groups. And only the winner of each group goes through to the semi finals. Um, the semi finals will be played in one of the nations that qualifies. For example, the last time uh, in the semi final, Portugal. Um, Portugal played, actually Portugal played Holland in the final, Holland knocked England out in the semi-final and Portugal was only chosen as the as the venue once they actually knew who was in it. There's no point in having it, obviously, for crowds, etc. If there's going to be crowds, hopefully there is by that time. Uh, so, so they actually choose the venue of the semi-final, uh, the third place playoff and the final will all be played in one nation but it will be in one of the nations that's quali that qualifies. So they won't know until, I think, Wednesday night are, are the final games. They've all played four games at the minute. They all play six games each. There's some games tonight, there's some games tomorrow, and then the group stage is all finished uh, during the week. So maybe by the end of this week, they'll decide where the finals are going to be played. So the, the two semi-finals, the third place playoff and the final will all be in one nation, uh, ne next summer, I think that will be at the end of the, at the end of this season. So in the groups in in the top league in the top league we've got in Group Four we've got Germany and the Ukraine uh, playing tonight and they've got six points each in Group Four and Switzerland v Spain uh, are playing tonight. Spain are on seven points. The Swiss are only on two points. So you've got Germany on six, the Ukraine on six. They're playing each other and Spain on seven. So obviously that's wide open, but I would suggest that between Germany and the Ukraine, they, they do need to have a winner in that game. If that game's a draw, I would imagine Spain will be in the driving seat in Group Four. Um, in in Group Three tonight, you've got Portugal versus France, which is a massive game. Obviously, Bruno might be playing for Portugal. Uh, Pogba and, and possibly Marshall might start for France. Of course, this is a massive game. This they've got ten points each. Uh, Portugal and France. This is 7.45 live on Sky. They've got 10 points each. They're well clear. It's only between these two. This is in Group 3. Um, the, the first game was a nil-nil draw between Portugal and France. So if they end up on the same points as each other, it goes on the head-to-head. -head. Uh, so with the first game having been a nil-nil draw, uh, a score draw tonight would suit France. If, uh, if tonight's game is 1-1 or, or, or any more than that, 2-2 two -two or whatever, uh, France would be in the driving seat. They would need to win their last game at home to Sweden to, to then qualify. So uh, if either one of them can win, they're right in the driving seat. If it's a score draw, uh, France, France, is, France is still, uh, you know, it would be in their own hands. So a score draw or, or, a, or a win for France would put them in the driving seat. Uh, tomorrow, Sunday night in Group 1, we've got uh, Italy v Poland and the Netherlands v uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, Van der Beek could be could be playing for, for Holland. Well, he probably will be playing for Holland. Holland have got five points. Italy have got six points. And Poland have got seven points. Now, Italy and Poland are playing each other. Uh, obviously, Italy could get to nine or Poland could get to ten. I would suggest that uh, Van der Beek and his teammates, uh, they need to win tomorrow. Definitely need to beat Bosnia and Herzegovina tomorrow. That would get them to eight points and they'd still, they would still be in with a shout. I think if they only draw tonight, I would imagine the Netherlands are out of it and it will be between Italy and Poland who, who come through from Group 1. And then Group 2 is England's group. England uh, are away to Belgium tomorrow and Denmark play Iceland. Iceland have been a decent team in recent years and strangely after four games, they haven't got a single point, Iceland. Uh, which is you know a tiny bit. It wouldn't have been a surprise some years ago, but at the minute that surprises me because they're they're a decent side Iceland at the minute. But the, there could be some twists and turns still. But I would suggest that England need to win in Belgium tomorrow night. Uh, Belgium are on nine points. England are on seven points. So if, if they were to draw, it's it's well in Belgium's hands. Obviously, they'd still be two points in front of them. Uh, a win in the last game would do it. England England do play Iceland in the last game. Um, so even if England lose tonight, or sorry, if they draw tonight, they could still only get to 11 points. If they were to draw tonight, beat Iceland and get to 11 points, I still fancy Belgium would, would do it because they, they, they'd need to beat Denmark. Um, so England definitely need to win.
I think it's out of their hands if they uh, if they only draw. So they've got to go to Belgium and win. Uh, Harry Maguire should be captain in the team tomorrow night, and uh, Marcus Rashford has pulled out uh, with a with a shoulder injury. Like I say, there could be a twist and a turn, but England, I think, will need to win, otherwise they'll be out of it. Uh, the other home nations uh, in League, uh, it, they're all in League B. So this is to quote, there is relegation, there's relegation and promotion from, from League A to League B and so on and so forth, League B to League C. So if you win, if you come top of a, of a League B group, then you can go into League A, and then somebody from League A, even say in England's group, would obviously be dropping, dropping out, and swapping places with you. So in League B, and looking for to, looking for promotion into into League A, we've got a game in Group Four. Again, there's four groups. There's 16 teams in League B, and there's four groups of four. In in Group Four, we've got Wales versus the Republic of Ireland. This is tomorrow. I imagine Dan James will be playing for Wales. Uh, Wales are on 10 points and the Republic of Ireland are only on 2 points. Uh, Wales will automatically gain promotion to League A for the next tournament if they win tonight. Um, so, uh, and, and obviously there's a game with a game to spare that would be. So Wales versus the Republic of Ireland uh, tomorrow. Dan James probably playing in it. If Wales win, I think it will be automatic promotion for them. In League B, Group 2, also looking for a promotion and, and fresh from a fantastic result the other night. We've got Scotland, who are on 10 points, and they're playing Slovakia tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. All these games are live on Sky. Uh, so you've got Scotland on 10 points. They're playing Slovakia tomorrow night, who, who haven't got a point yet. And again, if Scotland can beat Slovakia tomorrow, it'll be automatic promotion into, into League A. Uh, for the start of the next tournament, which I'm sure Scotland would love to be in League A and mixing it with all the big teams, and then you know if they can win, if they can win tomorrow night against Slovakia, it'd be a fantastic, it'd top off a fantastic few days for the, for for Scotland, and obviously I imagine Scott McTominay will be playing in that game tomorrow night. Um, not so exciting for Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland are playing Austria tomorrow. Austria are on nine points. Northern Ireland have only got one point. Northern Ireland are in danger of, uh, of relegation. They've got a game against Romania during the week. Um, if Northern Ireland lose to Austria, Romania play Norway tonight. Romania also have got nine, uh, sorry, Norway have also got nine points. So there's, there's, a, there's a fair chance that come Wednesday night, when uh, Northern Ireland play Romania, It'll be winner takes all. In other words, to stay in Group B, you know, there's a chance Northern Ireland could be getting relegated to, to Group C. So Northern Ireland uh, will probably need to beat Romania. If Romania get a point tonight off Norway, it'll be out of Northern Ireland's hands, I'm afraid. If so, if they lose to Austria, which I think they will probably lose to Austria, as I say, Austria are the top of the group on nine points. So that's it. The big games, big games tonight. Portugal, um, Portugal and France. Uh, tomorrow night, England and Belgium. I'm looking forward to, to both of those games. I'm going to watch one or two of the other games as well. Uh, I think the Wales versus the Republic of Ireland game, I've not actually got it to hand there, but I've got a feeling that's a bit of an earlier kickoff than the England game. So I'll probably watch that game as well. So if you're interested in your international football, serious games taking place over the weekend and then the group you know, culminating in the, in the finale of, of each group on a Tuesday and Wednesday night. That's that. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I can't see Cristiano Ronaldo signing for United again at 36 years of age. As I say, in football though, you never know. Nothing could, nothing would really surprise me. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed that little show. If you've enjoyed it, tell all your friends. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it, keep strong. Don't tell anyone.